Forgiveness is not something that you do for the person that hurt you. It's something that you do for yourself. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this world. We are here again for another Coffee with C. Our topic for today is from our friend Chanel, and here it is. Can you do a video about learning how to forgive when you cannot forget all the messed up things that the person did to you and you cannot trust him again? You feel hurt and betrayed. He inflicted pain like no other. And you're probably thinking to yourself, You wronged me, and thus you don't deserve my forgiveness. You are evil, and I can't no longer trust you. Here's the distinction that I want you to get. Forgiving someone doesn't mean that you instantly trust or ever trust someone again. Forgiveness and trust are two separate actions that you give to people. When you forgive someone, it doesn't mean that you condone his or her behavior or you trust him or her again. Frankly, even if you fully forgive someone, you do not have to keep that person in your life. It's okay to maintain distance and that is your choice. However, if you choose to keep this person in your life, he or she needs to rebuild that trust again. And it takes time maybe even longer. And here's what I want you to take away from this video. Forgiveness is not something that you do for the person that hurt you. It's something that you do for yourself. Think of it this way. When you forgive, you are giving a gift to yourself. A gift of peace, freedom, and new beginnings. How do you forgive someone? Even if you cannot forget what they have done to you and it's possible for you to trust him or her again. Number one, you need to forgive yourself. Don't beat yourself up by saying, how can I be this naive? How can I be this stupid? I should have known. I should have stopped it. There is nothing that you can do. It already happened. And the lies, the betrayal, or the pain, it has been done. So you just have to accept that fact. Feel the pain. Learn from it. And forgive yourself. Number two, forgive that person. It doesn't matter if they are apologetic. It doesn't matter if they don't accept their mistakes. It doesn't matter. Remember, you're doing it for yourself. Forgiving is separate from the person that who did you wrong. And how do you do this? When you feel so much anger, pain, and hurt, you don't have to call the person right now and, hey, I forgive you. It's unnecessary. You don't have to do that. You can start within by shifting your energy and be willing to say, I don't know how, but I am willing to forgive you. If you can say that out loud, along with a prayer, asking for guidance and peace, it's the beginning. Your willingness to forgive and really say it from your heart. It helps you to let go of the pain and start forgiving. And let me tell you right now, it's not easy. It will take time. Do not beat yourself up if you think that it's hard. It's hard to forgive. It is a continuous process that you have to keep striving. You cannot just say, okay, I forgive you and everything is fine. It doesn't work like that. But your willingness to start and saying it to the universe is the beginning of your forgiveness process. Let me give you an example. When you accidentally get cut, from a sharp object, it takes time for the bleeding to stop. The wound is there and it won't disappear overnight. It can take weeks or even months to finally heal. You can't do anything about it. There is no magic cream that you can just put to the wound and make it disappear. Similar to the person who wronged you, who inflicted that pain. The wound is there and it will take time to heal. Now, I want you to think about this. Similar to the wound that you have 
when you got cut you want it to heal right walking with a big ass wound is something that you don't want in fact we put band-aid in it to conceal it now i want you to think about the big old wound that the person who wronged you put on you bigger than the cut in your finger it's like this big or this but you get my point do you want to carry that wherever you go not only it will constantly remind you of the pain from the past and the things that he or she had done to you but also you can't hide it people can see how wounded you are doesn't do you any good with that said I want you to strive to heal that wound. You can take your time but try your best because you are not doing this for the person who wronged you. You are doing this for yourself. And my friends, being able to fully forgive without reservation is an inner strength. It's not a weakness. And I want you to be in a state where you can actually thank the person who hurt you and say to yourself, Hey person, thank you for what you have done. You made me stronger. And because of what you have done, I have learned a lot. Because of the pain you made me experience, nothing in this world I cannot handle. And thank you for that. I'm a totally different person now. My friends in the Coffee with C community, keep your requests, your topics, comment down below. I create videos every week for you and your topic may be next. Until next time.